Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Gerald here with Cigar Industry. Now today's review is going to be a little bit different. Actually, it's not going to be a review. We're just going to take a sneak peek at one of Drew Estate's upcoming premium cigars. They will be releasing that cigar information on their freestyle live event. So stick around, guys. My first impressions of that cigar is coming up. <laughs> If you're new to this channel and you enjoy cigar reviews and cigar related artwork, consider clicking that subscribe button. All right, guys. So in my opinion, I think Jewish State is probably one of the most creative companies out there when it comes to marketing the products and even the way that they put some of the products out there. They do have some unique cigars that are very different than anything else you see on the market. Their marketing style is also different. And this freestyle live event, they did the first one, at least to the best of my knowledge, the first one was last May. That's when they released the Undercrown 10th anniversary. Beautiful cigar, excellent smoke. Definitely looking forward to this one. I'm curious to see which premium cigar they're releasing next. Before I go and give my first impression of the cigar, I just want to give some specific details on this event. Now, this event is coming up next Thursday on the 11th of November. The time will be 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern. The event is located on their Facebook Live page, so if you go to DrewEstate.com, they do have a link to that page. Or if you're on Facebook, just look for Drew Estate. Now, what I think is special about these events is that you can get the cigar ahead of time. Now, granted, it doesn't have a band or any documentation on what's in the cigar or what it is, but you get to try out the cigar with them as they release it. Now, the vent packages, if you can get your hands on one, there's only 5,000 sold across the country, is $45. But what's included is actually quite impressive. It includes three ultra premium cigars, a very nice leather cigar case, a cigar cutter, lighter, tumbler, and also a vent badge that allows you to register for three prizes. The grand prize is a 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning electric truck. The second prize is a 2022 Polaris 1400 ATV. And the third prize is the Bridge Bar valued at $1,500. Very nice prizes in there. I believe they also have prizes for the retailers. Yeah, definitely looking forward to this event. If you're interested, I recommend trying to get one of those packages ahead of time. If you're not able to get the package, I recommend just getting on the vent anyways. Now, I did get the leather case in my package. Inside that case are three premium cigars. I don't know what the wrapper binder and filler is on this stick, but it definitely looks like a Connecticut. It has that light, creamy brown color to it. It has a unique aroma to it as well. So on that note, guys, let's go ahead and cut this cigar up, light up, and see how good it really is. Alright guys, so the first standout for me with the cigar is not the flavors, it's just how smooth it is. The wrapper has a very smooth texture on your lips, so it almost feels like this pillowy type of soft texture that you feel resting against your lips. The smoke as you pull it has this thick type of texture to it as well. Very smooth draw. The flavors to me, they're nice, they're light, they're smooth. Nothing harsh about this stick, just really the only thing that comes to mind is just it's just very smooth all around i do expect that flavors will start picking up here and there as i progress through it i mean we're only one puff into it but yes definitely an interesting start with this one all right guys not a whole lot of changes for my first impressions it's still a very smooth cigar I get this very thick, creamy smoke with each draw. Overall, I think it's the textures that stand out the most. The flavors, they're pretty light. There is a light, rich tobacco flavor in the draw. There is a spice in that retrohale. At times, the spice has a little bit of a bite to it, but for the most part, it's been a very smooth spice as well. Now, this cigar has a nice burn on it. You get almost like a razor sharp burn line, ash, the draw, everything else on it is just absolutely perfect. Looking forward to see how this one finishes off. So I'll keep working on it, guys, and I'll come back with my final thoughts here shortly. All right, guys, pretty much at the end of the stick. And I have to say, overall, I really enjoyed it. However, it's the textures that I did enjoy the most. The, for me, the flavors, they were pretty consistent throughout the entire stick. They're good flavors. They're soft. They're smooth. They're not very bold. But yeah, overall, it's the way that the cigar feels in your mouth. It has that perfect resistance to that draw. Nice ash on this one. Nice smoke output. Just a very enjoyable stick. Curious to see which one it is. I do have some assumptions here and there, but I'll wait to see what it is when they release it on Thursday. But like most Drew Estate cigars, the smoke output, all that was just perfect with this stick. Definitely curious about this one. Looking forward to learning more about it. So on that note, guys, I'm going to close this video, but I'll see you guys on the next review.